All right, how to be confident on cold calls. This is so important because it's no secret that how you say something is more important than what you're actually saying. Studies show that 93% of success on cold calls has to do with your tone and how confident you sound and not the actual words you say, which I fully agree with. You can give someone word for word, line by line, what to say and what's worked for you, but if they don't actually believe in what they're saying or sound confident, they're not gonna experience results. So today I wanna go over the preconceived notions that I think are holding you back that held me back when I was starting out and how to break past those. Got my notes here so I don't miss anything because these are very important. So the first one is we need to stop putting prospects on a pedestal. And what I mean by that is a lot of sales reps have this idea that we're just pesky cold callers and we're bothering them and we shouldn't be doing what we're doing and that we're interrupting their day. And what I'm here to tell you is that's not true. What we do is actually valuable for them. Where I see this play out is in these permission-based openers saying things like, hey, I'm a little lost here. Do you mind pointing me in the right direction and giving me a chance at telling you why I'm calling? Or, hey, do you have 30 seconds for me to tell you why I'm calling and then you can decide whether you wanna continue the conversation? The reason I don't like these openers is because they put the prospect on a pedestal and they make it seem like, hey, I'm down here, I'm not trying to bother you, but please give me a shot here. I more like to sound confident, like I'm someone that can actually help them, which is why I lead off saying, hey, this is Connor Murray calling from X Company. How you doing? Good, I'm just reaching out because I sound like someone in that second version that's confident and probably worth listening to. So that's why I prefer that style opener, not the permission based. And what we do is actually valuable for prospects. For example, I work in software sales. What we sell helps companies save hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars at times. It literally saves jobs. I don't feel like I'm bothering people when I call them because I've worked with companies and people just like you that I'm calling. All I need is 15, 20 minutes on your calendar and I'll show you how I can do it for you. That's the mindset to have. Number two is you want to take control of the calls rather than passing the control to the prospect. So after that opener I just went over, I like to take control and tell them three things out of the gate, who I am, why I'm calling and what I want. So that way I know every call is going to go that way. And it's not dependent on what they have to say or how they're feeling or how hard of a time they give me. I prefer to be the one to take control and say, here's the company I work for. Here's the value and how I can actually help you. And I know I kind of called you out of the blue here. So I'm more just looking to do this at a later date. Are you free Wednesday or Thursday? That is a lot easier when you know every single call is going to go that way because you're in control rather than passing control off to the prospect. That's really going to help you feel confident when you know your cold call is going to go that way after someone says hello. Third is practice that value statement outside of making cold calls. So don't just wait to make the cold call to, to practice and learn. Practice for 10 minutes a day on your own outside of making cold calls. That If you do that for a month, 10 minutes a day, that's 300 minutes. That's five hours of practice saying the exact same value statement of who you are, why you're calling, and what you want. I'll link to a video where I do just that, but I practice that outside of making cold calls for hours, and then when I got on the actual cold calls, I felt really good and really confident about it because I, I didn't stutter, I had my tone and inflection down, and that's the way to feel confident on these calls. And then fourth is, once you make that value statement, you also want to prepare for the most common objections so that you're not getting them on the fly and having to come up with an answer on the spot. So if you receive an objection, you should immediately know what to say most of the time for the most common ones. For example, if someone said, hey, thanks, Connor, but we work with a competitor, I don't see why it makes sense to me. I immediately would say, got it. Yeah, that's actually why I was reaching out. We work with X competitor all the time. So if there's ever a fit, we can move ahead. But I think it at least makes sense to get a line for the year, even if it's just 15 minutes. And I know I kind of called you yeah, the blue here. So I'm more just looking to set aside some time next week. Are you free on Wednesday or Thursday? That's just an example. I didn't have to think about that because I'm used to getting the objection. We work with a competitor. So I practiced behind the scenes what I would say if someone gave me that objection. So now when I pick up the phone, I know I'm in control. I'm ready for the most common objections and we're not going to win them all, 
But if I get good enough at it and practice enough behind the scenes, I can win two, three, four out of 10 and book a bunch of meetings and have a lot of success. So those are the four main things that you wanna keep in mind in order to help yourself be confident on cold calls because you should be. What we do helps prospects. You might be new, but that doesn't matter. Your company exists for a reason. It's because it helps customers. Yes, it is important to work for a company that actually has a bright future for that reason. Um, but if you do, know that we just need to get some time on their calendar here. We're trying to, we're trying to interrupt them out of their day-to-day, -day, snap them out. A lot of these people are procrastinating and need to get going on these initiatives, and we're the ones that can make that happen. So hope this helped. This is what you should keep in mind when making cold calls. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. I will see you on the next one.